So I wanted to talk about something that happened a couple weeks ago that really bothered me. I think it really highlights the nature of the way that we sexualize women's bodies to the point that women can't even really exist without being reminded that they are viewed as objects. Very few people actually view women as objects. If you are going to claim something so well planned, please provide evidence. And we exist for the consumption of other people. So if you've been following my blog for the last month or so, then you might have seen my posts about my issues with bras and how one of the consequences of me starting the pill is that I've gone up a cup size, which depending on how you look at it, isn't really a consequence. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Um, but one of the problems I was having is that none of the bras that I had at the time fit. In the time between me not having bras that fit properly and when I was able to purchase new bras, I went braless a lot and I realized that it's awesome, it's great. I too do not use underwear because they are uncomfortable. I did still feel kind of uncomfortable with it um, just because my whole life I was told I need to wear a bra and you know I can't get away with not wearing one because women wear bras and even though men don't have to wear bras that's just what you kind of got to do when you're a girl yeah it took a few weeks before i felt comfortable with it but i hired it out and one told you you had to wear a bra you just did it and need to get comfortable with not using one and i doubt even more that you were told you cannot get away with not wearing one the traditional reason for why you need to use underwear is hygiene and comfort but it's interesting that you brought men into the subject kind of just nice to free boob it, I guess. With that in mind, I posted a picture of myself going braless. And apparently that was a mistake. So I posted this picture with the caption, can we free the nipple already? Because it's 97 degrees and this is a hot look. This is a hot look. This is a hot look. Honestly, I posted the picture because I thought I looked good. It was hot, so it was practical not to wear a bra. And I know I'm uncomfortable most of the time not wearing a bra, so I thought it might be helpful to show other girls who might be feeling that way that it's not inappropriate and to kind of normalize it a little bit. Before you make the argument that women's breasts are inherently sexual, biologically, they're not a primary sex characteristic like genitalia. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. I've gone up a cup size, which depending on how you look at it, isn't really a consequence. Primary sex characteristics are directly involved in sex and reproduction. Women's breasts are considered a secondary sex characteristics, just like hips and body hair. Okay, so first you made a complete and utter non sequitur, claiming that women's breasts are not the primary sex characteristics and therefore not inherently sexual. Unless you demonstrate that only primary sex characteristics can be inherently sexual, your argument is invalid. You have not demonstrated any link whatsoever about primary sex characteristics and inherently sexual organs. You are correct in claiming that women's breasts are secondary sex characteristics. The distinction between primary and secondary sex characteristics is merely technical and has nothing to do with how sexual we perceive them. Whilst women in general find penises, especially when erect, sexual, fewer, but still many, men find the female counterpart sexual. Primary sex characteristics are not inherently sexual. But can anything else than primary sex characteristics be inherently sexual? I would say no. Nothing is inherently sexual. It comes down to consensus. Most men experience women express to be sexual. Men are most attracted to signs of youth and fertility. This helps the continuation of the species. These signs are shown in secondary sex characteristics and probably why women highlight them and polish their faces. In humans, breasts are not a sign of fertility, but they are in other species. In regards to free the nipple, my primary position is that complete nudity should be legal. My secondary position is that women should not be allowed to be topless. Men and women are not built the same and it is ridiculous to treat them as if they were. If genitals that are considered by most people to be sexual cannot be exposed, why should women's breasts, which are also considered sexual, be allowed to be exposed? And a lot of other cultures don't have the same obsession with women's breasts the same way that Western cultures seem to have. Your citations are insufficient. 
and the burden of proof is on you. It should be noted that in some cultures, exposing all primary and secondary sex characteristics is normal. We have, for example, the Kayapo tribe. Clothing in the genital region can be used simply for comfort. For example, sitting down there in nature is uncomfortable. Which is perfectly fine until you use that that weren't inherently sexual, but were reposted with the intent of having followers jerk off to them, which is disgusting. There's nothing wrong with jerking off, by the way. It's just that these images were being used without people's consent and permission in order to sexualize them when they weren't posted in a sexual context. Oh shit, I didn't know you needed consent to jerk off. I'll be sure to ask next time. I wouldn't want them to be offended or anything. And they don't need your validation. Isn't that cute? But it's wrong! I've gone up a cup size, which depending on how you look at it, isn't really a consequence. I really need validation. Recently, I've been feeling incredibly confident and empowered in my body. My dysmorphia has reduced significantly. I'm not exercising any more than I was. I'm not eating any healthier. I'm definitely not eating any healthier. The thing that's changed is that I've been receiving frequent vocal endorsement of my body, and it's mainly from men. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Also, if you'd like to help support this channel and Feminist Fridays, please consider donating to my Patreon page, which will be linked below. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself.